Hey y'all, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's Angel, and I know I have not posted in a very long time, but I would appreciate if you guys ignored that fact and act like I've been here the whole time. Anyways, today we're gonna do an island tour, and it's actually gonna be my own island, my most recent island called Firdaus, which is paradise in Arabic. And this is like a colorful desert city island. And it has a lot of views. So I'm just gonna start. So we wake up at the airport if, I mean, resident service, sorry. Excuse me. <coughs> sorry, y'all. So we wake up at resident service and I'm gonna show y'all a quick way that I did just to get to the entrance. So you're gonna go on this cliff go behind the pine tree and take this pipe. Ignore what you're seeing right now. Just close your eyes real quick. I'll tell you when to open them. Your eyes better be closed right now. Okay, open them. Okay, so let's check out my map real quick and my villagers. I've already deleted this island, so it is what it is. So as you notice, I have no water hence desert core so i was like why would i have like any bodies of water on a desert core island like i did use water codes but you guys know what i'm saying so let's go through my villagers i have mac sylvia maple flora klaus bruce brie gruff antonio and eric and all of their houses are on the beach all the shops are on the beach and the campsite is on the beach and the only thing not on the beach is museum okay let's get it oh also, lots of sand. I'm not me pointing like y'all can see it. Anyways, lots of sand. Let's get into it. So I have a green airport, and that flag is just like um, one of the custom design flags. Like, I did not make that flag. No one made that flag. It came with the game. Capiche? Capache. Okay. Let's go over here, and here is my entrance. I've- oh, shit. I forgot what it's called like it's like when you're in the desert for a long time I got this from a youtuber by the way not this build but like this idea it's when you're in the desert for a long time and like you start imagining things that's what I wanted to capture with this so it's just like a little oasis It's very beautiful very watery colorful and it's just like you imagine that in the middle of your desert journey where you're about to die I guess so yeah sorry if that was a little dark Anyways, let's go to the right first. Usually I start on the left, but we're going to the right. So we're met with these buildings. And then we go up here. And I have like this like Moroccan inspired, Moroccan inspired marketplace. So I'm going to try to show y'all what I did with the wedding pipe organs. I just like <clears throat> obviously lined them up. I don't know which side, like this way, not this way. <laughs> I lined them up. Thank God I have a camera so I can show y'all. I'm a very visual person, so like I need my hands to explain things. Anyways, so yeah, I used the wedding pipe organs in this way and I just wanted to create these really big walls with them. So yeah, I think it worked out, I don't know. And I used the festival saws, the fruit basket, the bag of groceries, the bottles. And then I really like the Moroccan um, sofa. And I used the festival parasol, the festival, I forgot what those are called. This little pot. Here, y'all can see. And I use a lot of bug models in this island. Oh, also the elaborate Komodo skin. Shout out to you. What a great item. More people should use it. Okay, so we go down the stairs. And then my beaches aren't decorated. I even kept Nook's Cranny as the original form. And my house isn't decorated. So you guys can suck it, honestly. Sorry, I don't know why I got so mad. It just seems like a lot of people's houses are decorated. And maybe I'm just jealous and insecure. Hmm. Anyways. <laughs> uh, so we're met with this area. And it's just like a little centerpiece. I don't know. This was like one of the first areas I built. And like, I really didn't have like an idea of what this theme was gonna be. All I knew is that I wanted to do desert core. So I was like, let's see where this takes me. And I'll show y'all where resident service is real quick. So we're right here. The airport is quite far away from resident service. I'm not gonna lie. 
But anyways, we're going to acknowledge that fact and move on. So, oh, hey, Sylvia. Hey, girl. Okay, anyways, we're going to go. We're met with this land bridge. And I just wanted to create something fun, you know? Because, like, most islands, like, it's just a straight shot, which this island mostly is. But anyways, we're met with this little village I made. And I obviously it's a forced perspective build. And I just wanted to like encapsulate like a big grand village. So yeah, maybe I'll use this for my thumbnail. Anyways, so yeah, here it is. And like I used a lot of items in this. I used a lot of simple, well, there's a museum by the way. I don't know if you guys can see it. But I used a lot of simple panels. I used a lot of the ruined items. I used a lot of wedding pipe organs. And then the two gazebos, then the castle walls, the castle tower. And then I used the pagodas too. And then like to decorate the cliffs, I used the ruined pillars, the bug models, and the cactus. And the baobab trees. I think that's how you say it. I'm not sure. So let me show y'all. I just like did these filler areas. I didn't really know what to do and it's kind of random. I don't know if I like it, but this island is deleted already, so tough shit. Anyways, I always wanted to use the elephant slide like this, so I just did it. <clears throat> the flamingo, and then we're met with this little oasis right by the right by the village. Yep. And then we're gonna keep it moving, keep it moving. Yeah. Anyways, uh, okay, we're just met with this little building. We'll go down that incline in a little bit. Because essentially, this whole thing is just a big circle. Like, I'm trying to make my islands less, less, mm, mm, I don't know the word. Just easier to navigate. So, yeah, less complex. Um, so, I used the pergolas, and I just sunken pergolas i don't remember where i saw this idea i saw it a long time ago because i've been doing this for like several of my islands but anyways so here's another little building i just like to think of this as like a little farmhouse or something with like the little grapes growing i don't know and then we go over here we're just met with this another transition area not transition area just another area See, I wanted to get like a map commission for this island, but I don't even know what to call most of these areas. They're just buildings. They're literally just buildings. So I know what to call this area though, the apartment complexes. And I'll just try to snap a picture real quick. And I set this room address at 5 a.m. And I wanted to because it creates like such a depth to like all of your builds, like especially if you do far away big builds, you see that like if this was during daytime that depth would not be there but it looks so much bigger now and i really appreciate that but let's go down this incline hey antonio let's go oh fit check actually y'all digging it y'all digging it y'all digging the fit huh y'all digging the fit i'm not really i actually i kind of fucks with it anyways I don't have that many clothes on my current island. Anyways, anyways. Uh, so here's like a closer look of the apartment complex. And I use um, a lot of the glowing moss. And like, if you couldn't tell, my main color theme is like cool colors. So I use blue, purple. Pink is not a cool color, but I use a lot of pink. And then I use white flowers. And then I use the green glowing moss to bring in the green. So yeah. I use a lot of green. You would be surprised because it's supposed to be a desert, but there's a lot of vegetation and stuff. That's why, like, it is desert court, but not really. Okay, so we're met with another marketplace. And the marketplace is right next to, like, the little entertainment center. So we have a lot of instruments and in the in this ruined arch building thing. And a fountain. And then we go over here. And I'll give you a little sneak peek of what is to come. So we have this area over here to the left. So that's just like the desert. And that's where the desert court is, I guess. So I would say this is like a desert city. Oh, shit. No. Anyways. um, I keep saying anyways. I'm so sorry, y'all. Let's have a drinking game. Every time I say anyways, just take a shot. Just take a shot. 
it's fine. You might die, but it's okay. And if you're under 21, take a shot of water. Yeah, hydrate, bitch. Ooh, that was aggressive, girl. Here's the rooftops of the apartment complexes. Very random, I know. I don't know how I think of these things. I really don't. But it looks fine, I guess. I don't fucking know. Um, let's get it. So I'm gonna run a little bit because we have to do a little bit of backtracking, but not that much because we're just going to this incline. So we go down here and I have this little land bridge. Here, I'll snap a picture of it. Dang it, we should have went down to the resident service to see that castle. You see it to the right? We'll see that later. Um, so here's this little diagonal land bridge. I remember I made this on one of my islands called Maku, which was a jungle core. And I haven't made it, wait, no, I did make it on all done, but not like this straight. I haven't made like a straight diagonal bridge in a long time. So I wanted one on this island. So yeah, there it is. And there's like one of the only green moms I have. So I used it. So yeah. And the way I get these flowers, like I use treasure islands, but I also transfer my flowers from like one island to the next. I keep all of my flowers. So we have this little land bridge again, but I use the wheat fields. And then we come over here and we're met with a desert lookout. Let me do the trick to make it seem like a wine noodle shot but i really like this time of day too because it's like the moon looks really good it doesn't look out of place it just looks like a moon so yeah and then we're just gonna keep walking to the left just to check out and if you hate lag don't tour this island this island ain't for you baby because this shit is laggy as fuck and I can't imagine if I was on a modded switch, bitch. Hell no. Anyways, we go down and we're met with this castle. And then we go over here and it's a dead end. Because I love doing that. I'm just kidding. I just didn't want you guys to be able to access that. Because there's nothing to see. But I'll show y'all how this is a circle. Because we go over here, we're met with this building. And then BAM! We're back at the freaking airport. So I think this island is, like, I can't tell if it's easy to navigate because I'm so used to this island. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're like, you'll watch people tour your island and you're like, how did you get lost? But then you're like, wait, if I'm touring this island for the first time, I would not know all of this. So let's go down. A lot of people miss this area, which is fine. I don't really care. Um, but this is the whole desert. So we go over here, and this is like a little glowing moss, like, garden, I would say. And by the way, beaches are not decorated. I don't know if I said that. But then we're going to take one of these vines, one of the multiple vines. And then I tried to point it out to go, like, over here because of the safety railing. But here's, like, the badlands of Fair House. It's just, like, a canyon, and I use a lot of the termite mounds. <clears throat> I used a lot of rock structures, like the caves... The dormant volcanoes, the ruined items. So yeah, here's like a little shot of the Badlands. So then we're gonna go down, just over here. And then we're gonna keep exploring, let's get it. Sorry, I'm gonna check the time, okay. Uh, So we go over here. And I used a lot of rotten turnips too in hopes of ants, but I realized you can't have anything by the rotten turnips if you want ants. So I kind of took an L on that. So then we just go through the Badlands and then we're met with more desert. I know it's pretty repetitive, but like if you get mad at that, you have to get mad at Cottage Core too. Okay? Because you know what's repetitive Cottage Core. And I kind of use like that same technique of creating like such a cluttered look with this island and just use different items like the bug models i use a lot of rock models mm. the rabbit mm. model i actually use the wheat and the sugarcane plants the food items so yeah i really like that like if you haven't considered using the vegetables as decorations just just do it just do it they're great like vegetation items and it's just like they create like such a like cool look i don't know I don't know how to describe it. But anyways, we're gonna like backtrack. Oh, Peninsula. 
I'm trying to get better at decorating my peninsulas. Peninsulas. So I created this little like castle thing. Yep. And sadly, I did not record any of the builds for this island. Cause like I knew like this island was very challenging for me. And then <laughs> this island I'm working on is actually more challenging and I'll reveal the theme of it at the end of this video. And I might actually post an island update for y'all for that island. But anyways, we're gonna go further into the desert. Make sure you have your walking shoes on, which I don't. Oh shit, not me getting lost on my own island. You have to go this way. So we go over here. And it's like you have to weave and wave. We're back like where the original outlook was. If you are like, what the fuck? How'd you get there? I'm gonna snap a picture real quick. <clears throat> okay. We're almost done with this tour, I swear. <laughs> So let's go over here and we're met with more desert and then go through these rune arches. I really liked how I made this. Like that's a pretty cool, like it looks just like interesting. I don't know. I don't know if it's in a good or bad way, but it looks, she looks. <laughs> no one's gonna understand that, but it's fine. So we're at the diagonal land bridge and then, oh, we have one more item, I forgot. One more area, not item. Girl. Oh, fuck. I, I forgot I can, like, transfer. Oh, my God. I need to slow down. I forgot that you can trample your flowers and dream addresses because it literally does not matter. Like, who the fuck cares? Yeah, fucking bitch-ass flowers. Wow. Okay, let's keep running. You know the uh, Nicki Minaj sound? It's like, <laughs> I put up in a dungeon, dungeon under. These bitches ain't eating the dang hunter. Look at me. Y'all know what song I'm talking about? <laughs> like, it's not a song, it's a sound, I think. It was on TikTok for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, sorry if that was weird. Okay, we have one more area, but we're back at Resident Services. And then I just made this little filler area. Yeah, I use the lost items. Why? I don't purposely take the lost items, okay? I'm just very forgetful. And I be time traveling my ass off. So it's just like, if it's in my pocket, I'm not going to remember. I don't be looking at my pockets when I'm about to move a bridge or something. Like, not move a bridge. When, when could you do that in fucking Animal Crossing? Never. Ugh, I'm tired of myself. And that's great timing because this tour is actually finished. Let's talk for a little bit, y'all. So I really hope you like this island. And my inspo for this island came from like, okay, this part is going to be kind of boring. So if you want to skip through, you can. Anyways, my inspo for this island came from like a lot of pictures. And I just tried to imagine like, what a clutter core desert would look like. Cause I'm like the clutter core bitch. Like I love me some clutter and like the laggier, the better. But I was just like, fuck it. Like I wanted to do all this. And like, I think I did a desert core was cause my last island was like a Zen core forest. So I was still in that natural like mindset of islands, but I wanted to like also do more city like, so yeah. So I hope y'all like the island. And also the island I'm working on right now, it's a underwater utopia, underwater utopia. And its name is Natasha. And right now, basically the thing is, actually I'll save the story for when I release the DA. Okay, so y'all, thank you for sticking around with me if you made it through all of this video. And I just want to say thank you so much for your support. If you want, you can like and comment and subscribe to my channel. And if you really like the video, you can share it with your friends. And if you really like this island, like, you can take any inspo from it. Like, I don't really care. Like, I don't know if you'll find inspiration in this island. But if you do, just take it. Steal it. Snatch that hoe. Just take it. Okay. 
bye you guys thank you so much for everything and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video on this island remember it's called feared house and the da here i'll just show the map again and there's your dream address so take a screenshot on your phone or something or take a picture of it if you want to tour it so yeah bye